Hey, what's going on guys? The Langbanger. I have a new profile. I wanted to go over Exodia. So I'm sure you guys have seen Exodia just in general on YouTube lately and that's because of the new support. Uh, back when I got into the game, which was like 04, you know, Exodia was one of the first things that I saw on the show. Kind of got me hooked. Um, so it's definitely very iconic. It hits home to me. Um, you know, I do, I'm a realistic person nowadays, so I will say that, you know, it's not one of the better decks out there. Um, I do appreciate it getting new support, giving it new life. But, uh, yeah, let's just see the build that I have here. So you have three Exodia Incarnate. That's one of the new cards came out of, uh, the legendary decks too. Uh, it's a heck of a card. Being able to draw multiple cards when it dies, that's very cool stuff. And uh, basically, you can just summon an Exodia piece, tribute it to special it, then end phase you get the piece back. So, um, so summoning it actually does nothing. It feels weird to do, but uh, yeah. Yeah, five Exodia pieces. Unfortunately, they're common. I will have to get some gold ones at least. Uh, that's still a sleep uh, purple, so that's pretty cool. But, uh, yep. Uh, three Kirkard three Scare three Swift Scarecrow. And that's the monster lineup. So I'm not using Battle Fader. Um, you could use uh, Rainbow Karibo, I believe. Uh, Zero Garden as well. So there are more battle stoppers out there. Uh, you could also use stuff like Spirit Reaper, but um, you know <laughs> we're in 2016, so just you know using Spirit Reaper or Marshmallow it just doesn't really do it anymore. So uh, yeah, I feel like that's a pretty solid uh, monster lineup. On to the spells. You have three Duality. You have three Unexpected Die, three Dark Factory, Upstart, and one Day of Peace. So that's it for the spells. <clears throat> Another card I considered in here was Messenger of Peace. I cut it. Uh, you can certainly add that. That's just a card that's suspect to removal. Um, at least, like, you want all your cards to be chainable or the most possible. Um, unexpected Die. At least, like, if you don't have the Exodia Piece in hand to summon and then tribute for, you know, Incarnate, then you can bring them out that way. And then that also speeds up the process for Factory. So, I'm not entirely sure if three is, you know, the good number for that. Or especially three for that as well. But, uh, that's what we're rolling with for now. So, onto the traps. You're using three Obliterate, three Reckless Greed, three Threatening Roar. Three Thunder of Roar and three Wabaku. So uh, nothing out of the ordinary there. Uh, the trap that you would sometimes see is Frozen Soul. You would see that on like countdown. So there's you know a bunch of traps that just say like, hey, you're taking no damage, or hey, there's no battle phase. Uh, Frozen Soul is missing. I'm not sure if any other ones have released semi recently, but um, yeah, I mean that's the profile. That's my list that I'm working with currently. Um, I definitely feel like these cards are definitely insane, Obliterate and Incarnate, especially this one. Um, Incarnate's cool to be able to draw multiple cards, but you need to have the multiple pieces in your hand already, so the more that you have, then the better it gets. So, like, at first glance, like, it's eh, but later on into the game, then it certainly does get better. This card's definitely insane because it's a Compulse, and it just, it can help keep the game you know stable uh especially if they wanted to go into some crazy exceed that could really hurt you or you know just something like that just summon something insane so uh yeah i feel like the support's really good i'm not entirely sure you know what tier you would consider this deck it's certainly not one but it's definitely a very nostalgic and it's Always welcome to have more support. So that's everything, guys. Thanks for watching, and have a good day. Peace.